Black Clover Chapter 331 Julius Novacrono is finally confirmed to be the main villain. The fourth Sogratus sibling, namely Lucius Zogratus, the devil host for the time devil Astaroth, one of the three rulers of the underworld. This chapter has confirmed so many theories we've come up with, it's literally insane. And today we'll even go a step further and explain how Lucius or the time devil could be Asta's father. Also, only small percentage of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. Please enjoy this video. Let's go! We told you that the war in the Spade Kingdom was just a bait and Lucifero was manipulated from the beginning by the main villain so that he could only lose. And Adramalek knew that. So everything that happened in the Spade Kingdom was meant to happen. Everything we told you about Black Clover and the plot about the main villain has come true. It all started with the mere idea that Julius could be a devil host. Then that he might actually be part of the evil trinity with Dante and Zenon possessed by Lucifero, Beelzebub and Astaroth. We predicted that Julius was part of the Dark Triad even before the revelation that there was a force Sogratus. Then we talked about the manipulation of the Spade Kingdom almost since the beginning of the Spade Kingdom war. After the unveiling of a force Sogratus we told you that it must be Julius because we had claimed long before that Julius must somehow be connected to the Dark Triad. Then we explained why Julius Novacrono cannot remember being the Force Sogratus because someone, either himself or Marx, manipulated his memory which was made quite clear in the new chapter. And just last week we told you again that the whole Spade Kingdom arc was a bait, controlled by the main villain who is the fourth Socrates sibling, Lucius Socrates, who is also Julius Novacrono. All this to steal Lucifero's devil heart, which Adramalek will then take directly to Julius. And now here we are. I believe we have hereby earned your attention. The reason why the Spade Kingdom arc was proven to be manipulated even before the latest revelation is because Lucifer was able to manifest himself in the world of the living using exactly all the devils from the first and second gates. But this was known to Adramalek, as he was clearly prepared for it with the aim of betraying Lucifero, because he knew Lucifero cannot win. This means that Adramalek must also have known that there is someone capable of defeating Lucifero who is only 50% manifested, Asta and Liebe with anti-magic. This could mean that Asta's whole life was planned, which in turn could mean that all the events that happened with Lysita and Lucifero in the past were manipulated by the force Socrates, especially because Lucifero was involved and Lucifero was the main puppet, always. Remember we told you that there must be a reason why Nacht has been watching Asta since he was a kid and knows everything about his magic, grimoire, Liebe and so on. Also that one day he can make Asta the ultimate weapon. He literally called him the ultimate weapon. Nacht could have received all this information only from a person who has known Asta since childhood, probably even since birth. And since this person seems to know literally everything about Liebe, anti-magic and so on, it can only be someone who was in contact with Lysita. We know for sure that someone must have brought Asta's grandma to the Grimoire Tower after Lysita's death. So this person must have known Lysita and since Lysita doesn't know many people, it must ultimately be the same person who later told Nacht all about Asta and Liebe and is there therefore automatically a candidate for Asta's father and therefore the person who was in contact with Lysita has to be Asta's father. Because as mentioned before Lysita really doesn't know many people so when we see a flashback where Lysita is talking to a man it's Asta's father and therefore the person who was in contact with Lysita has to be Asta's father. It's so simple and yet so complex and since the only person Nacht was in contact with after his brother Morgan died was Julius. Julius must be the one who told Nacht all about Asta and therefore must be the one who was in contact with Lysita and therefore brought the grimoire to the grimoire tower. And since Julius is the fourth Socrates, it is indeed possible that Asta's father is either Lucius Socrates as the good Julius Novacrono or the evil Lucius Socrates himself without having already changed his own memories or the time devil, which would make Asta a devil hybrid. We personally support the idea that Asta is a devil hybrid and we always have. We've made some theories about it. We never make any random theories. They have always worked together and were always based on each other. So they are connected like a chain. 
The hybrid theory will then explain why he can use the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire and why he looks like Liebes' twin, with both having no mana. Well, this would also explain why Lysita knew that not all devils are evil just because they are a devil, simply because her lover, in this case the Time Devil Astaroth, was not evil, as he is also described in demonology not evil. This possibility will explain everything, but we must always keep in mind that the plan of the fourth Zugratis started a long time ago, when Asta Yun and Noel were just born, or maybe even before, because that was the time when the Dark Triad killed Noel's mother and Yuna's father, so where the Dark Triad had already made their pacts with their devils. So we can assume that everything that could have to do with Asta's past could also have something to do with the beginning of the plan to defeat Lucifer and steal his devil heart and thus as part of Lucy Zogratis' great manipulation game. How big this could get is literally insane, just to give you a little taste, because we're definitely doing another separate video on this. As mentioned before, Astaroth is described in demonology as a good devil, that cannot be summoned if the person trying to contact him has evil intentions, which would explain why the evil Lucy Zogratis could have altered his memories to believe that he was the good Julius Nova Chrono. But by altering his memories, he could have imposed certain rules on himself that he must follow in order to fulfill his plan. For example, collecting Yami and William as sources for the Clifford, or maybe even something related to Asta. For example, watching him as Julius did in the black market, or sending him to the dungeon where he then received the second sword. Damnatia revealed that Astaroth might have somehow left the underworld, which is why Megicula took his place in the Clifford, just as we predicted. And along with the fact that Damnatia also revealed that Astaroth apparently saved the kingdom 20 years ago. We can assume that Astaroth is actually not evil, just as described in demonology, and that he may have even been in love with Lysata. And indeed, Astaroth is described in demonology as a devil who likes to live among humans, and tries to stay away from the system of devils because he doesn't want to be associated with them, which is why he might have somehow left the underworld in Black Clover. So it fits perfectly. Astaroth and Lysata. Together they then made two children, Asta who was born in the human world and his twin Liebe, who was born in the underworld because that's how devils are born. It is confirmed that devils are born in the underworld. It looks like they hatch from something like eggs, however that is supposed to work. Asta, Astaroth, you know, and the devil name of Liebe could be Roth. Astaroth. But it is possible that Lucius Zogratis somehow at some point started to interfere and manipulate things. We don't have everything perfectly together yet. The new Black Clover chapter 331 literally just came out. That's literally the first thought we have. So we are going to do a big video on that as well. But the basic idea is that we believe that the person who is responsible for everything, and by everything I mean Lysita's past, must have told Lysita that Liebe would be in danger if he stayed in the underworld. So he would have to be thrown out with Lysita and taking care of him because he's her son. This person also gave Lysita the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire to one day seal Liebe inside. It could be Astaroth with good intentions to actually protect Liebe, or already somehow a great manipulation by Lucius Zogratis to create the ultimate weapon to defeat Lucifero. But Lysita then also learned that sooner or later Lucifero would come after Liebe anyway. For this reason, it is not safe for Asta to stay with Lysita because it would be too dangerous for him, and not because her disease is dangerous for Asta. We have clearly seen that Asta was unaffected by her illness, unlike the snake that died in just a second, or Lucifero, the king of the underworld who had to retire after just a few seconds, after Lysita had taken almost all of his life force. But here we see Asta next to Lysita without problems. So we assume that she actually gave Asta away just one day before she found Liebe in the forest, one day because of the information we got from the character profiles. So all this could mean that Lysita always knew she was going to die because Asta's father, her lover, could have told her about Lucifero, which is why she always carried the grimoire with her to be able to see Liebe at any moment. This could also be why she knew she would never see Asta again even though she literally seemed to live either in Hage itself or just a few minutes away, which we can see from the last chapters when we saw her watching the sunset with Liebe at the giant skull of the demon god in the background. 
But as I said, all of this could have been the evil manipulation of the fourth Socrates, who planned for Asta and Liebe to be united in order to raise them like a pig for slaughter, the ultimate weapon to defeat Lucifero, to one day steal his heart. Maybe he was even the one who made sure Lucifero found out about Liebe, so maybe Lysita only died because of Lucius Socrates, which would be an extremely dark twist because now Liebe thinks he avenged Lysita, but in reality, the true evil is still out there. Why Astaroth didn't help her could be because Lucius had already managed to control Astaroth at that point. And we should not forget that he can somehow change his memory, so with this ability literally anything is possible if it even works for other people. So the Force Socrates could have manipulated everything that happened only for Liebe to leave the underworld, and then end up with Asta so that they could both become the ultimate weapon to defeat Lucifero. This means that Nacht was only used by Julius to make the ritual possible in the first place place, but at the same time is also the reason why the war took place. Before my partner continues with this Black Clover chapter 331, please take a moment to leave a like. Thank you. Chapter begins with Nacht revealing to Yuno that there is a person, he was me, the current queen of the Spade Kingdom, Ciel Grinberial, Yuno's mother. From time to time, we have mentioned the possibility that Yuno's mother might still be alive, but we never really considered it a major plot point, unless it's actually revealed. We'll definitely think of a reason why it was important for Yuno's mother to be alive. It could simply be because Asta and Yuno to continue to compete for the Wizard King's throne in the Clover Kingdom, as has been pointed pointed out in this chapter, but perhaps it also has a deeper meaning. I just want you to keep one important thing in mind from now on. Although we have mentioned it several times before, we want to make it clear once and for all, events in Black Clover have been manipulated since the Fort Zogratis began his plan. Depending on how Lucius Zogratis lost his memories, it is possible that literally every single person in Black Clover is not who they appear to be. Yuno's mother could have been brainwashed, Damn Nature could have also been brainwashed now. Literally everyone we know who has been in contact with Lucius especially before Lucius turned into Julius, could have been manipulated. We should keep that in mind. Because from now on, we have to rely on extreme paranoia. Yuno's mother mentioned that there are a lot of things they need to talk about and that it will not be easy to accept. So something very important for Yuno will definitely still be revealed. Something that could be problematic for Yuno in the future. We always have to keep in mind that the Black Clover exhibition foreshadowed the broken promise between us and Yuno to compete for the Wizard King's throne. Maybe it has something to do with the information Yuno's mother will now reveal. The scene shifts to Asta and Libe, both sitting on the famous Spade Kingdom clock, which has been highlighted since the beginning of the Spade Kingdom war. The clock itself was always suspicious for a reason. Time always moved a little strangely. Sometimes it didn't change for dozens of chapters, then it made sudden jumps, but in general, it was always highlighted. The reason for this strange flow of time could have been the influence of the four Zogratis, Lucius Zogratis, Julius Novocrono, who fed off all the time he had stolen from the war of the Spade Kingdom. Since Julius once revealed that this was the true essence of his time magic, it could also have been a direct manipulation of time. At the end of the chapter, he reveals that he is full of time, which could be due to the war he manipulated and thus accumulated a lot of time. Asta then reveals that he finally understood that Lysita was his mother and he is happy that she loved him and thanks Libe for this information, after which Libe then thanks Asta for helping him avenge Lysita, not knowing that the real reason Lysita died as my partner has already explained. Then the scene changes to the Clover Kingdom, where we see Damnatio on his way to Julius Novocrono, sitting in his office and thinking about all the strange events. In the meantime, he has already started to suspect himself. We see that Julius had a conversation with Marx, but we didn't see what Marx told Julius, which which is very suspicious because Marx could literally be the one who manipulated Lucius Zogratis by making him believe that he was Julius Novocrono, assuming that Julius didn't brainwash himself with a second magic, for example, with brain magic. But in any case, we should keep an eye on Marx from now on. Julius himself realized that this feeling from earlier was not normal, so he began to put things together. But before he could come to a conclusion, Damnatio entered the room and confronted Julius with a very interesting theory. 
He tells Julius that he has been doing research on the devils ever since the trial and has found some very interesting information in documents from more than 20 years ago. Megicola is not the Clifford Devil, as we have often assumed that she might have replaced Astaroth. This is also what Damnatio suspects. Also, Damnatio revealed the three rulers of the underworld, Lucifero with gravity magic, Belzebub with space magic and Astaroth with time magic. Since Julius is the only known person to have ever used time magic, Damnatio suspects that he may be the host of the time magic devil. And while he suspects Julius, he mentions something very interesting. He says that the time devil saved the country. But more about that in another video. We need the full translation first, maybe even tomorrow. This is definitely an indication that Astaroth is not evil, and thus a possible hint that he could be Astas and Libe's real father, but was manipulated by Lucis Zagratis. And then we see some kind of spell working on Julius, turning him into Lucis Zagratis. He touches Damnatio on the forehead with his finger, and Damnatio falls to the ground. We don't know whether he's dead or if Lucis did something to Damnatio's brain, assuming that he has brain magic. Then we see Julius's grimoire turn into a very strange looking grimoire that shows two spade symbols. As we predicted, he can change the shape of his grimoire using transformation magic. This grimoire symbol could be the fall version of the Spade Kingdom, or maybe even a pitch black grimoire comparable to the Fire Leaf Clover grimoire. Maybe it is even a combination of all four symbols, so something like a Grand Grimoire or a Universal Grimoire. Then a Dramlex, as we have predicted in the last video, reveals that he and Lucius have planned everything from the beginning. The final step is for the rebirth of the Dark Triad in Undying Bodies, unless the Fort Zogratis uses the Dark Triad for himself. We know that Bone blood and body are the components of a functioning being. Or maybe the Photosocratis even planned to sacrifice his own siblings. So that's it for today folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to smash the like button and if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on. See you guys in the next video, yummy out.